Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And I want to welcome you to sing. Shonda inspires nations to grow. And you will often hear me reference my family as my singers or my VSPs, vibrational singing people. So for those of you who always turn me on, mwah, because you know that I absolutely love you. And for those of you that are new to the channel, do me a favor, go ahead on and subscribe and click the bell so that you can stay connected with me. Well, listen, guys, I'm so glad that you decided to tap in, tune in, and of course, turn it on today. So, of course, I know I've missed you guys for, for the last few days. It has been crazy at work. I'm just not gonna say anymore, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful, so I will not complain. So I hope you guys have been really mindful of your thoughts and thinking about, you know, how you want things to resonate in your life and knowing that the most important part when it comes to a spiritual relationship with God is going through the sun. Just I am, the whole I am factor. So I hope you guys have been employing that. Well, listen. So, of course, I got another request today about a relationship. So, I want to tap on into that today. And I want to talk about a relationships again today. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, it's so funny how we often find ourselves in situations that we get into. Get, we get caught up. We get so used to doing things backwards. And it's like God's way of doing things it seems to be in the direct opposition of the world's way of doing things. When we find ourselves getting into the relationships, dating, courting, engagements, and even marriages, and we realize that we did it backwards. And so I wanna go ahead and talk about that today. And so my topic of what I wanna discuss with you guys is going to be commitments tested before I drive it commitments commitments you know it's so funny that we often attract to ourselves who we are and we live in a society where everybody wants to test the waters before they commit in a relationship and it's you know certain things that stand out to me like test it before I drive it the first thing would be like materialistic stuff that's normally what I think about when I think about testing it before I drive it, like if I want to buy a car. You know, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to research the car, see how it runs, look at what the, the value is on the car, the reviews, what the reviews are on the car. I'm going to call the dealership. Maybe I'll just pounce up over there spontaneously at the dealership, look at the car, check it out. Can I have a manual to the car? And I want to test drive the car. And if the car doesn't run up to speed or to my specifications, I may not buy it. And then if I'm really just smitten by the car and it's the right time, I'll buy the car if it meets the requirements. But it's nothing in that action that knocks me out of the alignment and the will of God for my life. It was nothing wrong with me testing that before I drive that. Sometimes we do that with appliances. You know, some of us even may have gotten them home and it just didn't work. A washing machine, because I'm really big on laundry, it just didn't work like I thought it would. And so I can exchange that because when I tried it, it didn't work. But when it comes to relationships, for number one, we don't prepare ourselves for a relationship. We'll prepare ourselves to uh, for a driver's license. We'll prepare ourselves for license to do our professions. We'll prepare ourselves for exams. We'll prepare ourselves for even prepping a recipe. But when it comes to something like a relationship, we just jump into it. We don't prepare ourselves. Half of the time, we don't even know ourselves. And so what I'm finding and what I'm hearing is a whole lot of testing before I drive it. Testing before I drive it. And then we find ourselves in, again, this relentless cycle of, I can't believe that this is happening to me. Why did this happen? Why did that happen? When we leave God completely out of the equation, and then we get into a test and drive type of a situation. And so that's why you find people, you know, 50 years old, they hadn't been married before, or mid 40s, and they ain't married, and they ain't thinking about marrying nobody, because they're just testing and driving everything. And so if you rely on your flesh, you lose it all, because flesh don't care about God. 
So the next thing you know, you're 60 years old, honey, or you get out, you get killed in a car accident. What's going to happen to your soul? Because you got caught up in the relentless cycle of testing before you drive it. So what I want to talk about today is, of course, I want to define what commitment is. And I also want to talk about, define like what testing is. And I also have like a scripture. So I want to go ahead and like tap into the scripture for today, uh, which will be Mark. Uh, chapter 7 and that's going to be verse 17 uh, through 23 and it basically just talks about you know again the religious leaders confronting Jesus about a situation about them not washing their hands and picking wheat and all this stuff but it goes down and Jesus began to talk and he says uh, do you not see that nothing that enters a man from the outside can make him unclean for it doesn't go into his heart, but into his stomach and then out of the body. In saying this, Jesus declared all foods clean. Verse 20, and he went on, what comes out of a man is what makes him unclean. For from within, out of a man's heart, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, creed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance and folly all these evils come from inside and make a man unclean so it doesn't surprise me that I'm hearing a request for this try it before you buy it type of spiritual mentality when it comes to relationships the most personal relationships between a man and a woman try it before you buy it what kind of mess is that and then we often wonder why it's all types of evil connected to it. Because you test it before you drove it from a fleshly perspective. Some of you end up losing time, losing your bodies in the process, creating soul ties and losing your money and the food still from you. Just some of everything happens in these tests before you drive it. But And then you also have really, really, really professional people or people with some sense that test before they drive. And they get into a situation to where they do it within the will of God. First of all, before they approach someone, they've been looking at them for quite some time. And they prepare themselves for this. They've done all the internal work that it is to do from a spiritual perspective to deal with the patterns that are showing up. Because there's no way that a person that's ready for a relationship see patterns in their lives and don't deal with the patterns. Because everything is us pushed out. It's our thoughts that creates all this mess. And so until you can get to the root of that spiritually it ain't no need for a relationship so a lot of people do that and they do observe people and they will say certain things to make sure it is an absolute fit for them and that's a smart way to deal with this test before you buy it and so if I look at commitment you know if I look at what the meaning of commitment stands for it's just the state of uh, or quality of being dedicated to a cause uh, activity it's fidelity it's loyalty it's uh, you know an engagement or obligation it restricts your freedom your responsibility obligation duty and it ties you to something and your inability see a lot of people will tell you anything this is men or women I talk to women a lot so particularly women men will tell you anything sometimes to get in your face and to get you out of the will of God and into a sinful state they have all the time in the world but then once they get tired of you they give you absolutely no inkling that they're gone they're on to the next one so as a spiritual being it is our responsibility to be on guard and be very very careful of who we allow to borrow our time but in borrowing time not get excited because you're the prize then you should be able to sit back and watch and observe and God will always show you the wolf the only way you don't see the wolf is if you're out of line with God because they're testing your quality, your performance, and your reliability of pulling through what they want you to do. They're testing you. They're watching you. What's your intention? Are you really saved? Do you really love God? Are you just one of those church girls or one of those spiritual girls that say things with your mouth, but then behind closed doors is something different? Have you really, really, really dug deep into your spiritual situation to try to be a better person for yourself? Do you really think that God would send someone to you that you actually have to try out, whether it's living with them or sleeping with them? 
Do you really think God will send you someone that's not a fit in every area of your life if he knows the desires of your heart? Oh, ye yeah, a little faith. So in this try it before you buy it mentality, I just wanted to kind of tap into it to let you know that out of your heart is going to flow those issues. And if you have the thought that it is okay for you to do these things without being in alignment with the way that it's designed to be and expect to, for it to be blessed, it's never going to happen. You are setting yourself up for failure. So for those of you that may be in situations where you have someone pressuring you to try something, or if you even have the thought in your mind that you want to make sure it's this what it's going to be because I got to have it this way and I got to have it that way, it ain't going to stick. It's going to be gone. So I just wanted to reach out and just address this since it seems to be an issue. The only thing that you should try to see that it's good is the Lord. Test and see that the Lord is good. And I guarantee you, not only will he exceed your expectations when it comes to a relationship, but you will attract someone that's ready to commit to you. And all the bells and whistles will be intact. So it won't be a need to try it before you buy it. God bless you all. Mm -hmm. I love you. And I'll see you in two. Bye now.